And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. All right, we got a question. What must I do to be saved? Jenny Kalogia asked. Well, that's a great question and a very important one, I must add, because 22 of you guys are watching, and all of this is quite honestly pointless if you aren't sure of your salvation and don't know the Lord Jesus. You can know about God, but unless you know God in a personal way, you have no salvation. So to answer his question, to be saved, you must repent and believe the gospel. And there are some things that we could talk about very detailed, but simply put, repent and believe the gospel. Believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Believe that Jesus um, lived a perfect life, died on the cross for your sin, rose again for your justification. And something very important in this whole topic, uh, since you asked the question, just for your guys' knowledge, there are other religions, uh, other false forms of Christianity, such as Jehovah's Witness or Mormonism, that might say, oh, Jesus died for my sin. I, I believe that. Or you might, you might hear people use the same similar language that Jesus is their Lord or that they believe in Jesus. But the key difference in Scripture, the true gospel, we read about the reality that once you believe in Jesus, there is something that happened at the cross. That Jesus literally paid your fine. He took upon your sin. You received his righteousness. He atoned for your sin. And understanding that specific doctrine, the doctrine of the atonement is very crucial to whether you are saved or not, because um, now you start to understand that it is truly all a grace of God. You are saved by grace alone. There's nothing that you can do to earn your way into heaven. There's no work that you can do. There's actually nothing that you can do. Um, if you have, if your sins have been atoned for, if you have received the Holy spirit, you can't lose your salvation. He who began a good work and you will complete it to the end. Um, if some people do, quote unquote, fall away from the faith, it's because they're never a true believer to begin with. But to be saved, repent and believe in Jesus as your Savior and understand at the cross, he took away your sin and he gave you his righteousness. And it's the only re Christianity is the only religion in the world that understands that that God was the took on human flesh and became the atoning sacrifice for their sin. Your sins have been paid for in full by Christ alone. And you receive his righteousness. That's why I know for sure I'm going to heaven. I don't have to guess, hmm, how many bad things have I done? I don't know. I'm, I don't know for sure if I'm going to heaven. No, I don't have to worry about that anymore because I am perfectly righteous in the eyes of God. I've been justified because the blood of Jesus is on my soul and I've received the righteousness that comes from Jesus Christ. It's an alien righteousness, not my own righteousness. And it's um, through faith in him. Good question. Good question. Praise and React said favorite gospel. I'd have to say Matthew because I read it first and uh, I love the Sermon okay. on the Mount. But obviously they're all... That's a good job out of that guy right there. 